Hello, I'm Lindsay and this is our second short video and I've chosen some poses for you that you can do um, sitting at your chair. So if you happen to be office based, you could do some of these poses in the middle of your day just to keep things opened up and loose, stop your shoulders from tensing up too much. So the first pose I want to show you is to sit upright. Um, your back's a little way away from the back of the chair, so you're not, you're not leaning against the back of the chair, but your spine's nice and upright. Both feet flat into the floor. If you're wearing heels, maybe take them off just for a moment. Shoulders are relaxed. Then you're gonna drop one ear to one shoulder. Doesn't matter which direction you go. Keep your shoulders soft and bring your hand so that it lays gently on the side of your face that is up to the sky. So you're not pressing, you're not pushing, it's just a little bit of extra weight. The other arm, we're gonna bring up to shoulder height and then stretch it away from you. So with your in-breath, you're lengthening your arm away from you. With your out-breath, just soften a bit. Inhale, lengthen. On an out breath, soften. So we'll do that on the other side. Tip your head to the opposite shoulder, keep your shoulders relaxed. Hand over the head, arms stretching out. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, soften. Do maybe two or three breaths. The people sitting next to you are going to wonder what you're doing. You can tell them, you can get them doing it and then gently lift your head back up. Come up slowly, because that's quite a strong stretch. Next one, lifting up, you're gonna turn very gently, bring one palm to the outside, so let's say bring your left palm to the outside of your right thigh, your right hand comes behind you for a gentle twist. Your hand's coming behind the chair to about the center line, where that would be. Inhale, lengthen up, on an out breath, turn very gently to look over your right shoulder. Make sure your shoulder's relaxed. Make sure your knees and your hips and your backside are relaxed. With your inhales, lengthening your crown up. With your exhales, just letting yourself twist. One more big in breath. And on an out breath, gently turning back. We'll do that the other way. So this time, right palm to the outside of left thigh, and left hand comes behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn to look behind you. Make sure your shoulders are soft. Make sure both feet are flat on the floor. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, return. So the next pose I'm gonna show you involves bringing your hands together at your heart, elbows wide. Inhale, lengthen again. On an out breath, turn to look to your right. Keep both feet flat on the mat, knees soft. On an out breath, bring your left elbow towards your right knee. Hands pressing together and look up towards your right shoulder. So you can hold this for as long as you like. And when you're ready to come out, with an out breath, gently come back to center. Same in the other direction, start by looking over to the opposite side. Drop your elbow to the outside of the opposite knee. Palms are together at the center of your chest. So if they shift it to your armpit, just bring them back to the center of your chest. Looking up over your shoulder. Feet pressed into the floor. And with an out breath, coming all the way back up. Relax your arms for a moment. We're going to open out your chest so you can bring your hands onto the seat or to the side of the seat. Inhale, lift up your chest. Exhale, draw your shoulder blades together. If it feels all right in your neck, on your next in breath, lift up your chin. On and out breath, just relaxing in the pose. If your neck doesn't like it, you can still do this, but look straight ahead. Make sure your lower back's not compressing too much, so your shoulder blades are pulling together, feet are relaxed. This is more about opening out your ribs. After your next in-breath, pause your breath and gently come into a nice neutral spine. Then we're going to very gently fold forward. 
Bring your hands towards the floor, relax the back of your neck. This pose is a lot like child's pose. So you're getting a nice curve, a nice gentle curve in the spine as a counter pose to our back bend. Gently come up, vertebra at a time. One final pose, bring your left arm in front, right arm tucks underneath so that your elbows lock. Make a V shape. Now you can either stay there or if you can, bring your shorter hand in front of the long hand. Turn the thumbs so they're facing the same way and then turn the thumbs towards your nose. You may not be able to access that at the moment if you have tight shoulders, you might find you're, you're there. Wherever you are, lift your elbows up towards your chin. Soften your shoulders. And with an out breath, release. And we'll swap over, so right arm comes on top, left arm underneath, elbows connect. Make a V. If you can, bring the shorter hand in front of the longer hand. If you can, have the thumbs facing the same way and towards your nose. With an in-breath, bring your elbows up so that they're about in line with your chin. With your out breath, soften your shoulders. So just be where you are with this pose. And on an out breath, gently relax your arms. And you're ready for your work again, or for rest, or for whatever you're doing. Hope you enjoyed this short video today. Thanks for watching.